While all car manufacturers initially directed their efforts towards the creation of environmentally friendly modes of transportation, they experienced a delightful revelation as they embarked on their journey, stumbling upon something even more precious and rewarding. These manufacturers not only managed to harness the power of the latest technology and ingenious designs to produce affordable cars, but also meticulously prioritized customer comfort and safety. In this video, we're delving into a selection of new affordable cars, with one standout model priced around $9,000, a figure that has become the aspiration of automakers worldwide. Elon Musk, a prominent figure in the industry, has repeatedly pledged to create an accessible vehicle starting at approximately $25,000, catering to the masses. However, due to various circumstances, this plan has unfortunately been put on hold. Musk elaborated, stating, our new vehicle development team has shifted its primary focus to this objective. While we've completed the engineering phases for both the Cybertruck and Semi, our attention is now firmly fixed on the next generation vehicle. This upcoming model is projected to be approximately half the cost of the 3NY platform and will possess a smaller footprint, just to clarify. General Motors is a car manufacturer that proudly boasts of offering top-notch yet affordable vehicles. In 2022, the company introduced the Blazer EV, revealing that the base model's estimated cost would be approximately $44,995. During that time, the company communicated that the 2LT front-wheel drive trend was expected to be priced around $47,595 while the RS variant was projected to come in at roughly $51,995. However, in reality, these trims have turned out to be up to $10,000 more costly than initially anticipated. The RS all-wheel drive variant, set to hit dealer lots this summer, will commence at a starting price of $60,215, accompanied by an anticipated range of 279 miles. Ford has recently revealed that its electric vehicle division is anticipated to incur a loss of $4.5 billion this year, a notable increase from the previously estimated $3 billion. This heightened projection of losses is attributed to mounting expenses linked to the development of new products and the expansion of production capacity. CEO Jim Farley outlined that the pace of electric vehicle adoption in the near term will be more gradual than initially projected a situation that is poised to favor pioneers in the field, such as Ford. Farley pointed to the achievements of Ford's inaugural generation, F-150 Lightning and Mustang Mach-E EVs as substantiating this advantage. He noted, even as others catch up, we are in the process of advancing our next generation products from the ground up, which are in advanced stages of development and are bound to leave a significant impression. While American and European automakers grapple with the challenge of producing affordable yet appealing cars, a distinct car manufacturer hailing from a different corner of the globe has successfully marketed thousands of American dream cars for a mere $9,000. The identity of this company raises intriguing questions. How did they manage to achieve this feat? And what strategies did they employ to captivate consumers and achieve such a remarkable price point? Cherry Automobile Company Limited, located in Wuhu, Anhui, China, is a well-known Chinese automaker. It was founded in 1997 and is currently China's ninth largest vehicle manufacturer. It accomplished an impressive total production of 1,232,727 vehicles in 2022 alone. Cherry's basic product line consists of passenger vehicles, minivans, and SUVs. Passenger automobiles. These vehicles are sold as Cherry, whereas commercial vehicles are marketed as Carry. Cherry began its vehicle production journey in 1999 and began export operations from China in 2001. Notably, Cherry has proudly retained its position as China's leading passenger car exporter since 2003. In 2011, the company achieved a significant milestone by exporting nearly 25% of its overall production output. Cherry commenced its active pursuit of collaborations with foreign manufacturers in the late 2000s, a pattern often observed among major Chinese automakers. Although discussions with Chrysler and Fiat regarding partnerships took place, they never came to fruition. In 2007, Chrysler envisioned a partnership with Cherry, intending to market the Cherry A1 as a Dodge-branded vehicle both in the United States and in other regions. This concept aimed to swiftly expand Chrysler's selection of small cars, 
culminating in a signing ceremony between the two companies in late 2007. An analogous agreement was entered into between Chrysler and Nissan in early 2008, but the proposed collaboration between Chrysler and Cherry was eventually terminated. For the last 20 years, Cherry has focused on coming up with new ideas and developing things on its own, like making new cars. This helped Cherry make different types of cars like Arizo, Tico, and a fancy brand called Exceed. People all around the world bought more than 8.3 million of these cars combined. Cherry has recently introduced a new car called the EQ1, which is priced at $9,075, and is manufactured by Cherry's subsidiary specializing in neighborhood electric vehicles. Initially, during its unveiling in 2016, the vehicle was intended to be named Xiao Mai Yi in China, which translates to Lil Ant. However, the name was later changed to EQ1 to align with the Cherry EQ series. On an international level, it's recognized as the EQ1. This vehicle serves as the entry-level model within Cherry's EQ series, which currently encompasses the EQ5, EQ7, and EQ1. Notably, Cherry announced last year that it had manufactured 300,000 units of the EQ1 EV. The four-seater MIDI EV boasts a wheelbase of 2,150 mm, a length of 3,200 mm, a width of 1,670 mm, and a height of 1,550 mm. Externally, the vehicles exude a stylish and well-balanced appearance, akin to that of the Mercedes Smart EQ42. Upon first sight, you might mistake the car for a Lexus model. It boasts a pair of substantial headlights separated by the cherry silver-colored logo, symbolizing progressiveness. On either side, only two doors provide entry into the vehicle, imbuing the EV with a coupe-like presence, albeit one that doesn't compromise interior space. Inside the Cherry EQ1, there is a pristine glass roof that adeptly channels natural light into the car's interior. The steering wheel of the EQ1 boasts a distinctive two-spoke design with a flat top and bottom, while two discrete air vents are thoughtfully positioned at the lower corners of the dashboard. The steering wheel itself is equipped with an array of control buttons, offering a versatile interface for various functions. Moving to the rear, our attention is drawn to the gear shifter and the prominent instrument panel. Transitioning to the center console, the EQ1 features a captivating floating screen, which is notably larger compared to screens found in Tesla's vehicles. Situated between the driver and the front seat passengers lies a convenient wireless phone charging pad, alongside a generously sized cup holder and USB charging ports to cater to modern connectivity needs. Rear seat passengers are provided access through the ability to slide or fold down the front seats, enhancing convenience. While the boot space is not designed for carrying larger items, its orientation due to the reclined back seats is better suited for accommodating smaller belongings. The EQ1 comes in two range option variants. The first variant offers a range of 187 miles on a single charge, powered by a 30.6 kWh lithium battery. The second variant boasts an extended range of 253 miles, made possible by an upgraded 38 kWh battery. It's worth noting that both of these ranges are quoted under the NEDC cycle, which typically yields lower figures in real-world conditions. Sherry sources the battery cells for its self-developed battery from CATL, a well-known battery manufacturer. The electric motor propelling the car is derived from a joint venture with the Japanese company Yaskawa Electric. Charging the Cherry EQ, one takes approximately 5 to 7 hours when using a 6.6 kilowatts charger. For faster replenishment, the EQ1 supports fast charging, which allows you to charge from 30% to 80% in just 30 to 50 minutes. Under the hood, the Cherry EQ1 is equipped with a permanent magnet synchronous electric motor that delivers 30 kilowatts, equivalent to 40 horsepower, and an impressive torque of 89 pound-feet. For those seeking more power, there are upgraded versions available with a robust 55 kilowatts, equivalent to 75 horsepower, electric motor. The EQ1 can achieve a top speed of 62 miles per hour, providing zippy urban mobility. At the time of its launch, the Cherry EQ1 was competitively priced, ranging from $9,075 for the lease trim to $13,120 for the upgraded model, making it an attractive option in the electric vehicle market.